This is incredible news we had for the, with the, the community forums that were going on. It told you a lot about the city of Modesto. It shows you also some of the opportunities we have. When you hear things like 79% think fair or poor, well, I'll tell you what, the people that were out and about during the month of June are 100% that Modesto is absolutely certified awesome. I say 100% to city services on our, on our menu. We've got a thing going where when the citizens come to this community, the citizens come to the city, they are welcome with open arms for projects. And thank you very much for being 100% responsive to the people that want to make a difference in town. It's dynamite. Let's roll these little slides here. We'll get going. Uh, I'm not, but I'm not Who's in? Really, what's wrong? PowerPoint? We want the PowerPoint. Well, by the way, we're, we're, on March 1st, we launched the National Historic Cruise Route. We've got the historic streets right here in town. Three short months have been since we stood right here and said, we have an idea. We want to bring people from all over the world to Modesto, California, and we have done it. And so we've got on our committee, it's not in my Modesto, Jennifer Mullen from the CBB, Nancy Young from the DID, Lori Smith from the Community Economic Development, Margaret James, who has dynamite background in the music experience, is awesome, and Jessica Smart, Three snaps to Jessica for all the great work that she's done and hooking us up to so many great things. Also, thanks to City Council. It's all about how we change, how we talk about it. Dave Lopez is right on. If we go out there and say positive messages, we will change the way people think about our community. Not, not only around the country, but right here. We have a lot of people in our own town that need to know what a dynamite town they live in. Everyone's got issues, but we have things that oh, a lot of people don't have. We have downtown Modesto, 10th and 11th Street, made famous in the movie American Graffiti. It is fabulous. We're going to get people to drive off the freeway, stop in our downtown, and stop here. This is one of the results right here. Over what we've learned over the last couple of years is brands evolve naturally. And if you talk to people out there, you talk to Dan Costa, talk to Cecil Russell, you talk to people in the streets, Modesto's brand is truly that we are a classic American city. It says it all. It says our heritage of the graffiti history. It says our heritage of small town networking, big city appeal. But we have that classic womp bam boom ah womp bam boom that gives us something special compared to everyone else out there. We are worldwide known for this history. Cruise, 1947, right here in town. Talk to people in other countries. Barrett Graffiti, Modesto, California. Word Association Test, it works everywhere. We've got people that showed up from France at the graffiti thing just to watch classic cars. People from Canada, Germany, they are all coming here. What does it tell you? Modesto, USA is a destination. People want to be here, not because we're on the way to everywhere, but because they want to come here and see this little piece of history that we have. It is graffiti summer all year long here. We've got places, we're going to evolve from June to 12 months a year, 365 days a year for graffiti summer. The cool thing is, is all ages. It's not just the cruisers of the day. It's not just the classic car guys. If you saw the cruise parade downtown, there were kids, 20, 30 years old, souping up their cars of all different sizes. This is really changing from generation to generation. State Theater, a two-year-old girl, won the Graffiti Grease Movie Dress-Up Contest. It shows that the graffiti spirit and the Modesto USA classic spirit is all ages. So what we're going to do is we're really going to capture this, you know, for what's it, Modesto USA, it's really exciting. Next slide. We set up this cruise route committee. We got to work. We worked with the city manager, went to the downtown businesses, went to the chamber of commerce, went to the organizations, went out and talked to people, got in touch with all the cruisers, got the local citizens involved, and we realized that we have something here that is truly exciting. You know, Field Dreams in Iowa? Well, guess what? These streets right outside this door are the streets that were made famous in the movie. John, the voice of John Milner is on these streets right here, and we're going to take advantage of it. But the cool thing is, you talk to people. When's the last time you ever had a graffiti conversation that lasted like five minutes? Hours. Storytelling. It's all ages happening right here. We're going to reach out for the route across the community, and the best part is, is we have our own story to tell. Sure, George Lucas made the movie, right? But that's just the start. That's the background. Our own people are the legends. We have learned about the people on the tent, the policemen who wrote the tickets, and what we're gonna do with the cruise route is make stars out of the, celeb the people that made the cruise famous. We have a little clip right here from one of our legends of the cruise. And we'll be developing this series as part of this whole program of introducing to the world the people that made the cruise what it was back in the day. 
what we're going to do is tie this in to a cruise stroll. And that was Leroy Applequist right there. That was the policeman who was the motorcycle cop on the beat during the day who wrote all the tickets to these guys. Guys like Dwight Trammell, Jerry Sauls, you know, Terry McGrath are all legends of the day. We've got a cruise, a cruise route, cruise stroll we're going to set up. We're going to set up 10th and 11th Street, G and K Street. We're going to have signs and banners already out uh, at right 947 10th Street. That's our starting point. We are going to reach out to the community, gather more history. We're going to reach out to the car clubs, get more car history. We're going to talk about Modesto then and now. We're going to teach about the evolution of the cruise. And this is some of the graphics we have going up in the current windows. Abandoned building windows and everything. Next slide. We are going to work with the city to help repave, and we rework we, we the, the curbs and sidewalks. We are going to welcome our families and friends. We're going to bring our business people into downtown. We're going to show them the best of what Modesto has to offer. And best of all, the CBB is going to be able to welcome people from all over the world that will come into our town, stroll our streets, spend the money in our restaurants, cafes, and our hotels. And when they leave, they're going to tell a story about Modesto that is way different than what it, most people think about Modesto. Each and every one of us can change the message. Vacant buildings downtown, we're going to put these kind of messages in the windows. Classic cars, walk by the same people, stop and go check it out. I know that street, 1962. We're going to create interest and anticipation for local businesses. They are stoked. We've taken this to all the downtown people and they are jazzed that they are on the cruise route itself. Next slide. This is the graphics we've been working on. Our new logo is is Modesto USA with the 57 Chippy tail fin and if you notice right here our new tail fin has the word Modesto on it and it is our permanent brand forever it is dynamite this is going to be so much fun we're going to have a gas this t-shirts calendars posters a whole shoot match so anyway these are the signs we're going to have along the cruise route 25 informational signs will be Modesto history classic cars what's a deuce coupe the music then and now who was Wolfman Jack where are the evolution of the cruise? George Lucas visiting points, and this is what they'll look like along. We're going to work with the Garden Club to make sure we have flowers decorating these signs on this tour that walks around. Next slide. And then we're going to also have our own website, Modesto Cruise Route. They'll be welcoming people, Modesto Graffiti Cruise Route as well. We'll have a travel brochure for people that, that show up into town. We'll be working with the legends of the cruise. People will be able to walk up to each one of those cruise signs. Click their smartphone on it, a little micrograph, and each one of those signs will have one of the legends of the cruise telling them a story about the day in person from when it was. And we are going to work on logo and badge sharing so that we'll have this logo and badge reaching out to everybody who talks about Modesto. It is going to be a fabulous deal. We are going out to the business community and the community at large. This is something that is going to cost the city nothing because we are going out and selling these signs and sponsoring them throughout the community. Of our 25, 11 are already sold, working on the 12th today. Huge interest in the community. We are going to roll this thing out fast and have this thing done over the, starting over the summer. Thank you to Greg Knopf and his team for really rolling this out because we can make this happen quickly. It's not something for two years from now. It's something for this year, right now, to change the direction of downtown Modesto, USA. We ask today just to accept what we've got going here and kind of check out our progress. We're available for questions anytime to see what's happening. But each and every one of us can say that message that Modesto, USA is a classic American city and we want everyone to visit and see the historic cruise route in downtown Modesto. Uh, Modesto Cana at its best. Modesto Cana at its finest. You got that right. You know, what other city, uh, Chris, can say they're uh, graffiti USA, man? I believe they we are the intergalactic home of oh, America. Yeah. <laughs> if there's like spaceships coming from outside, hey, the you could be on Pluto. Go. There's no American graffiti here. Go. I'm loving it, man. Did you say stars on sidewalks? No, we're going to have the signage on the sidewalk. Stars are. Good idea. Yeah, I think it would be great. We can have a legend of Walker fan, man. Right? I mean, we're talking tail fin, tail fin of the month club here. Yeah, this is going to be done. Absolutely. Um, you know what, Chris? I want to say thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you, Dan. I mean, I'll tell you what. It's a privilege to be involved. It's a privilege to work with this committee we have. And I'll tell you what. There's so much here in our town that is positive that we can really make something exciting happen. And thanks for letting us play in your player. City manager. Chris, you need to work on your energy level. <laughs>
I was going to stop at the coffee shop. Here. I was, you know, maybe we can get out of here pretty soon. I'll yeah, so I may have said five minutes. I uh, get the video. <laughs> so because, yes, because you mentioned a number of signs that you're yes. putting up with uh, explaining. Yes. And then having um, audio. Those those banners those are going to go on the route themselves. These this is an example of the of the banners that will be on the poles around the cruise route itself. We are going to line this four block thing with these banners up on the light posts, and then we're going to have the signs will match those about this level with all the information signs. There'll be a micrograph on the signs, so you can go up with your phone and pull up a video of whatever subject is. Say it's a Deuce Coupe in classic cars. It might be a video of John Sanders explaining what a thirty two Deuce Coupe is. And, and so, funny, you're going around, you're getting um, contributions from businesses. For yes. those signs, though, I mean, wouldn't it be great to get those up today and not a year from now? Or So I guess, do you have money for those signs? Yes, we do. We today? have a tentative offer from the Kiwanis Club of Modesto to help us with these banners. The Kiwanis Club is very actively supporting this project with Steve Perry and John Sanders and everybody. So we have seed money right now from the Kiwanis to start this uh, banner project. Can we get out by the 4th of July? Great to have sure, I think we've got three. We have actually have three of these going up tomorrow on 9, 947 10th Street. So we'll actually have some up for the 4th of July parade right there on the 10th Street location. Awesome. They're already up. Just, yes. just for clarification, uh, the members, Steve Barry, John Sanders, were North Modesto. North Modesto, Kiwanis. Exactly. No, I just like my voice. That's a mouthful. I just want to make sure Kiwanis are represented here. And they're doing the parade on uh, next Monday, so that's cool too. So. Go ahead, city manager, you got interrupted. So, yeah, so council member. <laughs> Again, thank you for your effort. I just, I mean, that, those are just some great banners, and they will make our community stand out, thanks to the whole committee. It's been fun meeting with you guys, but hard to keep up with you, Chris. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> any others? Okay, is there anyone in the audience that likes to speak? Okay, seeing none, bring uh, council member here, I guess. I can't believe my good fortune. I took out a book called The Old Car Book and hang it in the Memorial Library in East Haven, Connecticut in 1955 and fell in love with old cars right there and there. And for me to end up here in Vanessa City Council, having gone through one of the most fun months of my life in the last three or four weeks, uh, and having a chance to ride in John Kearney's 1927 Ford Tea Bucket in the uh, graffiti parade. And again, uh, in this coming 4th of July parade, which I hope everybody comes to see, has been one of the high points of my life. And I'm really appreciative of the committee for putting this together. Uh, American Graffiti is my favorite movie, period. And uh, it's, it's just a wonderful place to be uh, at this point in my life. Thanks. Well, thank you. Thank you, Councilman Grill. Here. Okay, do I have a motion or I move to accept the report? Second. We got a motion to second. Clerk, call the roll. Council members Lopez? Aye. Gear? Aye. Harsh? Aye. Uritori? Aye. Burnside? Aye. 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 Mayor Ryan Aye. Aye. Thank you very much. Thank you. Under unfinished business, item 20, consider approving the adjustments of the fiscal year 2011 12 operating budget. Gosh, that's a tough act to follow. I have no snappy. Where's your business? <laughs> 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 <laughs>